black. Snow flurries down in Florida. Good, good. Two, three, two, seven. Pipe down in this little. I'm about to put this tile board over there on the wall. The last piece of wall trim. First, I gotta sand the edge. And then we'll glue it into place. Here in the bathroom, I'm about to put down some tile. That's today's plan. But I think before I start, I've got a line mark here. This is between the two floor joists, and they're 16 inches apart. This is three-quarter plywood. I don't think it's going to flex at all. But I'm going to go put a tube for in there just to beef it up a little bit, a little bit of overkill. So I'm going to pop about three screws, put a tube before, glue it, screw it, just try to strengthen. That's where anybody uh, would stand when you come in here. Your first step right here. Just want to be strong enough to keep the tile from cracking. Now I'm going to go under and measure, see how long it needs to be. That'd be my next step. This is my 2 4 brace. I've got glue on each of the three ends that's going to touch. I've got some screws coming in, toenailing, and they're going right about here underneath the tiny house. I need a tile that is four inches wide. Let's cut one. Just like that. And this one's got some damage on some corners. So we'll use the good corner. And it needs to be four inches by three and three quarter. Let's see how it fits. Just right. Okay, this is the layout I'm going for with the six by six tiles. Those there, these here, and right up the middle, I'm gonna put these little brick-shaped tiles. I'll cut them off where we need to cut them off. And then if we decide to ever put in a toilet, you'll just be prying out these little tiles. Cut off of the toilet, everything else can stay. So this little guy's too wide. I'm gonna cut him down to size. And that's what it's gonna look like.
Now all the tiles have been cut. So I'm gonna mix up some mortar for the tile. Here's the bag. It won't tell me how many square foot per bag. So I'm gonna do about half a bag, see what, just see how it goes. I'm gonna mix it for five minutes and then let it sit for five minutes, then mix it again. I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna make you watch all that. This is gonna be strawberry flavored mortar. I switch buckets for easier mixing. Got an easy way. Have somebody hold one side and rake it back and forth. Okay, the mud is mixed and the floor has just been vacuumed. It is now time to start spreading that mud. Okay, I'm gonna start here by the door. So that's gonna be the part you see. I wanna get that part right, get it how I like it. The rest of it in the corners under the baseboard don't really matter. Okay, the threshold is in. Now the shower trim is in. Honeysuckle. It's just like honey. Here's a shot of the finished shutters after dark. We'll slap on a coat of paint, and I might go with the red paint. I know it's in third place, but I've already got red paint. Friendly for the budget. I think this morning's the day that we turn this into a garden. I'm thinking maybe some watermelon, some squash, some corn, some more sunflowers. I would do that this morning. And if you want to do a watermelon check, the kids said they saw a pretty big one. When I find it, I will let you see it. That was easy to find. That's got to be the one they're talking about. It has caught up with those pears on the tree. I need to show you this sunflower that's popped open. Okay, the dirt has been plowed again and it's time to make the rows. But this is pretty neat. When I peeled back the watermelons, like a plow close to them, it revealed some watermelons hiding underneath. There's one we've not seen. There's one. I thought that was pretty neat. Okay, so I made the rows and I popped the rows open. We got one, two, three, four new rows in this expanded garden. Okay, I've planted about three half rows of watermelon. And when you're at the store, I never know which kind to get. On the little bags, they all sound so good. In this first row, we've got some Jubilee. That's the long oblong, the stripes. Then in the second row, we've got some Crimson Sweet. They're kind of cannonball with stripes. And in the third row, we have Sugar Babies. They're cannonballs no stripe. 
just dark green. So we'll wait and see what happens here. The kids just point to a bigger watermelon. That one's as big as my hand. The width of my hand. Okay, what I've got on the garden so far, this is the watermelon end. That last row, that's just a fertilized row waiting to be planted. And then the other half down here, we've got one, two, three, four. Well, three half rows and that whole row that we still have to plant. So uh, corn, sunflower, squash, maybe some more cucumber. I will let you know. Here on the sunflower, we got some bees hard at work. Got to make that honey. is week 11. I want to test some of this corn. It feels pretty good. I'm thinking maybe for lunch today. Oh yes, that's ready. Perfect. And that's what these big pockets on these pants are for. Corn pockets. Mm-hmm. Pocket. Now this is a good example when we mix the silver and gold queen. You can see some yellow, you can see some lighter yellow. That's the gold, that's the silver. All mixed up together. Now if you're wondering how well the corn pockets did, I didn't fill them up. I just wanted enough to eat. We're currently cooking a pan of squash and it's calling for an onion. I'm gonna go put this onion in there. Peel that skin off, see if you can get that dirt off there for me. Good enough? Okay, here's what's going on in the kitchen. Got some compost supply. Squash. Bacon, corn, and a little bit of cucumber going on. Triple thread. Would you like some corn? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to hurry back. The squirrels were trying to get my corn. Anyway, this is the second pot. Oh, it's looking good. I'm going to throw some butter and salt on there. I gotta get mine up before the kids grab it. A big sunflower stalk from a few years back. Lots of seed on there. We're gonna try to pull off some of these seed and plant some of these seed. Wound up with a whole bunch of seed. One year we need to actually eat some of these seeds. This year I'm just going to plant them. Now if you're making corn for an individual, you can wrap it up in flat wrap, saran wrap. This was in for five minutes, three years. Careful, it is hot. I feel like the food surgeon. So when I come outside this morning, this is where the cat's sitting. And if we walk over, that's where the dog's coming from. You sitting with your kittens? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you, I saw you in there. Yes. It's the morning cook-off. It's the oldest girl with her French toast sticks against daddy's blueberry pancake. I think it's all about the flipping. Christ for music and her art. She is the oldest of eight children 
with complete background in homeschooling plus involvement in a church and outreach, she has developed a heart for service. Possibilities in the future involve volunteer work or musical involvement in a church setting. She's open to God's leading in all things.